Welcome back and good day. This is Unitor and then the product of Williamson. This is the refrigeration toolkit. Let's take a look and explain what is the tools inside. Let's start. If you are new to our video, please subscribe and hit the bell for more updates. Okay, we have here filter, dryer filter, okay. this is attached to the charging hose. Okay, next box, also a char also a filter okay. you can connect this on the charging hose this use also in recovery and also you can use also in charging This one is our recovery unit. It has a label below filter dryer must be installed at inlet during operation. If you connect this one, you need a filter. This one. This is a filter. If you use recovery system or you recover your refrigerant using re recovery unit you need that one okay this is a side class it's also you can connect to the charging hose with isolating valve this is our charging hose Next, our charging hose is also attached with isolation valve. Next, this one. This is a gauge, pressure gauge. The unit is millibar you can choose whatever unit you want okay, that is the light so the backlight yes you can change to PSI okay Pascal micron and whatever you like as long as it's a common uh, as long as it has a selection on the pressure gauges that is digital pressure gauge okay this is our adapters different sizes This is connect to bottle and to your connecting hose or charging hose and going to the system. Next, this is the reamer. If you cut this copper tube you can clean via uh, or using a reamer okay. that side is for 
use for the inside of the copper tube and the other side is for the outer outer part of the copper tube next this is tube cutter because it is small they call tube cutter but if this is a big one they call pipe cutter right now we have here a tube cutter as you can see the size is that that is capable of this one tube cutter okay. also it has a extra extra i uh, sorry this one is for cleaning or it's like a reamer also and the top is it has a file below that one extra blade I forgot the term extra blade or okay, comment below if you know the answer I forgot the name of that one next tool this is for activating the solenoid this is a magnet to activate manually the solenoid you use that one this one is for fixing the fins for evaporators, fin for evaporators, fin for condensers, air air cooled condensers. You can choose a sizes. This is the connector, T connector, only a T connector. Okay. Next this one small one it's a tube cutter for a small copper tubes this is intended for small copper tubes okay next this one this one is the flaring tool this is the holder this is the flaring tool as you can see it allows different sizes just put it put the copper tube or a tube on it then you use the the pair of this flaring tool to flare this copper tube this is flaring tool and you can see the sizes that is capable of this one this part is on the top Okay, this is how to use. Okay, just a flaring tool. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, we will remove first this one.
Okay. I need to secure first. Okay, next. <coughs> okay, this is the result. This is the result that you made. That we made. Okay, I will try. Okay, as you can see, it's fitted. It's nicely and smooth. Flare. Next tools. Next tool is this one. Screwdrivers. Adjustable wrench. Small screwdrivers. Big screwdrivers. This is Phillips screwdrivers. Okay. This Phillips screwdriver. This is a bent, bent long nose. Okay. Supplier. Then this one is the ratchet. Ratchet tools. Ratchet wrench. Ratchet wrench for refrigeration or intended for the refrigeration purposes this is for use to open and close the isolate isolating valve for the refrigeration system this is a ratchet ratchet wrench wrench Okay, this one is the smaller smaller size for the small systems okay what we have okay okay this one this two sticks this one product of monitor unitor magnet stick magnet stick is for checking the valves solenoid valves what we have here okay we check to the magnet this is checking for sol coil for solenoid if it is activated this one is bolt stick to check it has a indicator light if 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 he detects or it it detects the voltage okay this one magnet this is for checking your magnet stick it has a magnet on the top before testing the solenoid coil with this magnet stick you can check first with its own magnet at the top okay this is the one that I love fault diagnosed in refrigeration circuits okay you can choose whatever possible this is a Diagnose diagnosis fault diagnosis means you can select whatever problem that you encountered 
okay it has a arrow up pointing to the alarms or problem that you encountered and at the center you can check what is the possible cause all arrows is the possible cause sample for the high side too high refrigerant charge too high it's one possible cause okay number two high pressure too low means refrigerant charge is too low one one of the cause these arrows are the possible cause it helps you to diagnose the system but if you like this diagnose hope diagnose refrigeration circuit I will take a picture and then upload upload to the Barco TV Facebook if you like just comment below if you like let me know if you like this thin plate so that I will take a picture and then you print on the computer and then you can you can use it as a guide this is only a guide for troubleshooting fault diagnosis in refrigeration circuit Okay. Again, that is the the alarms at the top. Actuation low pressure switch means low temperature. Regular presetting low pressure switch. That is the possible causes. Okay. Next. We have here the refrigerant handling guide plug sheet. Okay, it's a guide from Williamson Sir Ship Service. Okay, it's a guide plug sheet guide. Okay. As you can see, there is a product indicated to the catalogs this is refrigerant lock you charge or it's a lock sheet on okay. next we have here a what's this Okay, we will open this one. Also a a guide. A guide for a compressed gas. Okay. For example, this is our refrigerant gas R four O four. This is a proper shipping name, it has indicated product and also kilogram for max maximum fill and maximum gross. 21 liters and 26. This is the actual actual offer A from unit. Okay. 
this what the bag to the ground. We're gonna move that. Okay, that is maximum fill. And maximum gross 66 kilograms. About 45 pounds. Okay, that's it. I hope you like it. And then we have here a okay, recovery unit. This is our recovery unit. Then this is the vacuum pump. This one is the our manifold. This is our manifold. We need to open this one. Okay, little manifold gauge for high pressure and low pressure. Also a adapter included. This is the manifold, charging manifold. As you can see, this is our vacuum, vacuum pump. In our next video, if you have time, we, we need to test this one. If you like this video click thumbs up share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates thank you very much